Today we'll be hearing five amazing facts about one of the most well-known terriers, the Yorkshire Terrier. These facts may just convince you that this is the pup for you. Plus, we'll get to know a couple of significant Yorkies from over the years. Welcome back to the Fenrir Yorkshire Terrier Show. It's great to have you here, and if you're new, my name's Rachel, and I'm the co-founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is here to help you raise wonderful pups of your own and become a perfect puppy parent to offer your dog a wonderful, healthy, and fulfilled life. So, to make sure you never miss a future video about our four-legged best friends, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So let's jump right into today's video and find out a little bit more about these award-winning pups. Our first fact is that the Yorkshire Terriers actually started out as ratters. Back in the Industrial Revolution in England there were lots of workers from Scotland who came to Yorkshire to work in coal mines, textile mills and other factories. They brought along their pups with them, like the Clydesdale Terrier, which Yorkshire Terriers were bred from, along with many other terriers. Due to the Yorkshire Terrier's small size, they were perfect for squeezing into tight spaces to catch the rodents in the mills and factories. Weavers, miners and many other business owners used Yorkies as their version of an exterminator in order to keep mice and rats out of their workspaces. Yorkshire Terriers are known for their confident and fierce personalities which made them especially perfect for the job as they fearlessly went after the rodents. Along with other terriers they were used during hunting to flush out prey from their dens. One Yorkie in particular who is considered to be the father of the breed, Huddersfield Ben, was a ratting champion and incredibly successful dog in dog shows where he won over 70 awards. Fact number two is that the Yorkshire Terrier's coat can grow up to two feet long. Although it may be pleasing to hear for pet owners that the Yorkshire Terrier barely sheds at all, it does mean that the dogs are completely reliant on their owner to keep their hair well groomed. Their hair will just keep on growing if left alone, and, as I mentioned, can even get up to two feet long. Most Yorkshire Terriers that compete in shows tend to have longer hair, but most pet owners keep their dog's hair well trimmed to stop them from tripping over or from getting food stuck in it. This cut is generally called the puppy cut. On the topic of their coats, puppies are born black and the blue and tan coat gradually develops as they grow older. Yorkshire Terriers tend to get lighter with age and hormonal changes can also affect their colour. For example, females in heat will go lighter and then will darken after their season is over. Our third fact today is to do with another famous pup. The first ever therapy dog was actually a little Yorkie named Smokey. These days you would expect most therapy and service dogs to be Labradors or Golden Retrievers, but the very first pup was in fact Smokey the Yorkshire Terrier. US soldier Bill Wynn found a little Yorkshire Terrier in a foxhole during the Second World War and took her in as his own. He named her Smokey and the two started their journey together. They travelled across New Guinea, and Smokey, due to her amazing obedience and small size, began to help out with the war. She strung communication wires under a former Japanese airstrip through pipes, which meant the soldiers didn't have to dig trenches and be exposed to enemy fire. After that, Smokey found herself being a therapy dog for wounded soldiers, touring hospitals through the Pacific and United States. After the war, Wynne and Smokey went to Hollywood where she performed on lots of different TV shows. There is a monument dedicated to Smokey's memory in Cleveland, Ohio. Fact number four, Yorkshire Terriers are known for being very small dogs, but they are actually really inconsistent in size. They should be around eight or nine inches at the shoulder and weigh no more than seven pounds. However, it's not out of the ordinary for one single litter to have one puppy who grows to weigh less than four pounds, one six pounds, and another who grows to be 12 to 15 pounds. With this in mind, do be aware if you are offered a teacup puppy from a breeder. These dogs tend to be at a much higher health risk than the standard dog size. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience experience, skill set and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behaviour that are important for you to become a high level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviours at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviours. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behaviour, there'll be a link down in the description box below and I can't wait to see you over on that course. 
today and definitely something to have a heads up about before you think about getting your own Yorkie puppy is that Yorkshire Terriers are prone to something called pharyngeal gag reflex which is also known as reverse sneezing. Instead of pushing air out of the nose like you would in a normal sneeze they gasp for air which causes them to make a goose like honking sound. Although this may be quite alarming at first you can be rest assured that the noise is harmless and swiftly passes. It's usually triggered by dust or pollen like a normal sneeze. Just a warning for you if you're ever concerned by some of the sounds that your Yorkie may make. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did please hit that like button and to make sure you never miss a future video about our four-legged best friends hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Can't wait to speak to you again on the Fenrir Yorkshire Terrier show.